Hey everyone, in this video I want to share with you how I was able to get a $148 bomber jacket from The Gap for a total price of $6.79. I have the receipt here to show you the proof and I want to walk through how I was able to do this. This is all about efficient and smart shop hacking online. So the first step is more of a fashion tip and that involves just making sure that you get the quality and type of clothing that you want. And to do this you actually go into a few stores in person actually in the store and test out clothing. I went to numerous stores to try on bomber jackets. I wanted something with really good quality, something that wouldn't, wasn't cheap and wouldn't last only a year. Uh, and I tried out H&M and Uniqlo and a bunch of others department stores and well, very quickly I whittled it down to The Gap and a brand from a department store that's pretty uh, premium priced called Super Dry. Everything else including Banana Republic was had very uh, sh cheap or shoddy material or it was just very skinny and it didn't have that um, amount of puff that I needed to stay warm in uh, the winter so I need really need a little bit of extra comfort some wool and that narrowed it down to only a couple options Uniqlo was also not bad so that was probably my third choice uh, the next step was going to a website called shoptagger.com now shoptagger is also a chrome extension and basically what it does is you can uh, uh, set a alert um, for the extension and it will let you know when a price drops so basically whenever you're on um, a website like gap.com and there's a piece of clothing you really like you can download this free chrome extension and just let it uh, set it to l notify you if the price ever drops and the reasoning behind this is very simple many clothing stores play with their prices year-round sometimes it's just to you know mess with you they're trying to get you to buy at a higher price and they think you don't know any better other times it has to do with seasonality winter clothes oftentimes will drop in price when summer rolls around they have to get those clothes out of the inventory so they will discount their prices and it's a great time to snag them um, now one thing that you want to know about the shop tagger app is that everything at the gap is almost always forty percent off including banana republic and many of its um, subsidiary stores like old navy most of the time year round everything is forty percent off therefore if you have something at the gap that's 40% off it doesn't mean anything it just means that it's normal price um, so shop tagger currently only has a limited amount of ways to notify you if there's something that you like that is um, a few percent percentage off you can either ask them to notify you if something drops by any price change by 20% or by 50% so there's really only um, a few limited options. I select the 50% option, which I'll show you right now. I'm choosing a random kids hoodie, just to, as an example. All you do is you hit this shop tagger button, and um, you can log in through Facebook, and you'll pull up this display here, and essentially, you you basically uh, select where where is it? You hit the shop tagger thing and it will add it to your profile now once it's added you can go here and onto the actual shoptagger.com website go to your items and pretty much let it know um, and tell it to let you know notify you when it drops in price now this one isn't letting me uh, specify what percentage it drops by um, but usually it will let you do that um, you usually just click on this and it will give you an option 
um, any price th there's three options any price change 30 percent uh, 20 percent off or 40 percent off and I think there's also a 50 percent off option now the problem is that with a um, with a store like Banana Republic or the Gap the only option you should choose for shop tagger is 50 percent off or more uh, because anything below that is just the standard price tag they have it set year round for 40 percent off sent off because they want to get unsuspecting customers uh, who uh, have never been to the store before and don't know that the sale is year round to go oh my goodness there's a sale I better buy now so it's this false uh, scarcity that they're doing but for us um, savvy shoppers who who know better that's not actually the case um, of course there's other ways of um, organizing the things here but basically you just get an email notification when um, that price change happens um, you can also like add hashtags to specific items to organize them see I have a bomber jacket hashtag and a cardigan hashtag because those are the items I care about most um, currently I'm trying to click on this and show you but for some reason it's not working on my browser um, it's rather unfortunate maybe it's a glitch with um, what I have to offer what my computer does but you get the general idea here um, now the next thing I did was after I have had that um, shop tagger thing I waited and uh, it notified me that it was 50% off uh, in the winter um, uh, end of winter really so it's January right now and they basically were it was more than it was um, a huge discount it was they went from $148 to $69.99 so that's over a 50% discount and it's the end of winter so it makes sense that this is a time where they would have that discount so I was notified of that and I was like okay that's quite a steal and they, they'll even shop tagger will even tell you the best um, coupon code to use to do this in this case the gap is on its home page and every page it's telling you to use the um, code fresh style to take 50% off and then an extra 20% off having said that um, shop tagger told me to use a different code for this in this case it was the code 50 so I tried both of them and it turns out the code 50 was the one that actually worked better um, so uh, that cut it down to about maybe 30 30 ish 31 dollars I know it says 28 here but that's not including taxes so that cut it down to 34.99 um, now how did I get it even cheaper all the way down to 679 uh, so there's a couple ways um, the first way is to use a banana republic credit card there's no downside to this credit card as long as you pay your bills on time with the credit card the upside to a banana republic credit card is that on your very first purchase with the credit card you get an extra additional 20 percent off with it I already used that so I didn't use it here however um, on top of that uh, it also gives you points so each time you spend um, money with that credit card at a banana republic or subsidiary store so uh, that includes the gap old navy and athleta you actually will get points and it's about five you get five per, it's pretty much five percent so if you s buy something worth a hundred dollars you will get five dollars um, cash back and that's actually exactly what happened so um, in the mail and they'll mail you this um, every month um, if you actually have any substantial rewards um, you will get one of these um, uh, point codes that you can use so that's exactly what I did um, I had a five dollar point code from my spending with Banana Republic and I used that to whittle down the price some but how did I get it even lower than that well um, Banana Republic has a sweet offer with its credit card and um, 
um, this is indefinite, but you also get like an extra like five to ten percent off if you use that credit card. Um, and I think I tried to use it here, but it didn't work. So supposedly, um, I should have gotten an extra percentage off using because I used that credit card, but I did not. And I think the reason is potentially because I used it at the Gap, even though it was a Banana Republic credit card. So um, it did not apply the extra discount because it doesn't work with its subsidiaries you have to use it at just banana republic so that kind of sucked but i still got the extra points so i tried to double dip but um it only worked um for the fact that i was getting racking up uh, points for that uh, i think they're called gap car cash points or some type of points but um it's basically 5% of whatever you purchase gets converted back into points if you purchase from one of their subs, uh, from their subsidiary stores. So I will be getting a few, you know, not 5% isn't much. I'll get maybe a dollar 80 cents back from that, but that's still money in my pocket. Um, it also kind of sucks that you have to spend it on stuff in the subsidiaries only but I know at some point in the future I will be buying something else from the gap I'm thinking maybe some black jeans um, but you never know so um, I'll be spending money there anyways um, I try not to spend money um, just because of spending money I spend money when I really need something like a new pair of jeans because my old pair is all ripped up so um, yeah, I try not to get sucked into this thing of spending extra because I'm rewarded something. That's how they get you to spend extra. I try to only spend out of necessity. Um, so, okay, so five dollars. How did I drop it down by twenty-five dollars to six seventy-nine? Well, the twenty-five dollars actually came from uh, my Discover card. So a few credit cards do this. Discover card does this and uh, a few other cashback cards visa bank of america card does this um, and many others but essentially what you can do is you if you have a cashback card the discover it card is great for this it's a uh, very beginner friendly travel hacking points hacking credit card that most people use um, for and it's a great starter card if you're new to credit card points hacking um, the Discover It card uh, gives you a good bunch, uh, uh, around like three three percent cash back on restaurants and gas, and then five percent cash back on specific custom offers that they will launch quarterly. Um, and so I ended up just using my card like normal, and over time I racked up enough for. Um, basically I had like twenty one dollars worth of credit to redeem and you could redeem it as cash and you could also redeem it as um, a gift card uh, the thing is if you redeem it as a gift card they offer an incentive basically if you meet the minimum threshold um, you will get extra dollars back so basically if I redeemed twenty dollars worth of gap um, credit card um, value then they will give me actually 25 so I got an extra five dollars the catch is that there's a threshold so um, you have to wait and rack up the points so that's how they make their money they're hoping that you're gonna keep that redeemable balance in there until you hit that threshold and because of that they get interest on it and all this stuff um, but you do get that extra five dollars if you wait and you wait for it to redeem so that's what I did and it doesn't take too long to get twenty dollars worth of points especially when you have three to five percent um, cash back so with every hundred dollars you spend that's five dollars in points or cash redeemable back so if you spend four hundred dollars in a month that's twenty bucks right there that you're getting back so I chose to redeem it as a gap um, credit card of course there's uh, a bunch of eligible offers they won't get offer a credit card for every possible store but most of the major stores are available and of course um, they also offer more uh, free dollars if you're willing to redeem higher amounts so if I believe if you 
redeem the forty dollar gap credit a uh, gap gift card they'll give you sixty dollars so you're getting twenty dollars extra based off your redeemable points uh, the problem is that you have to wait until you rack up that redeemable cash to redeem it as a gift card if you just redeem it as straight up cash they don't give you these extra dollars so that's what I did um, I instantly used this $25 gap to take it down to 679 and then I paid with the Banana Republic um, credit card and uh, you know to get that extra double dipping points now there's a few extra things that I tried to do here that didn't end up working but in the future could work depending on your situation um, you can there's a way of triple dipping so if you have a credit card with you know most of the major carriers American Express discover um, if you log into their website discover.com or American Express.com and you have a credit card under them they have an option where you can log in and you are able to shop through their portal so basically what you do is you log into their site and um, then there's an option that says shop or shopping or discover deals um, for discover it's discover deals and basically they take you to a, a list of websites and on those websites you can basically just choose the website that you're going to shop at anyways whether it's amazon.com jcpenney.com gap.com and they say if you take this link and go to that website and use our credit card there we will give you five percent cash back um, and what they're basically doing is you know if you go through their link they will install a cookie on you and track you and since they're getting credit for some of that purchase they're passing that credit back to you um, from these uh, stores so um, if you're gonna shop there anyway it's a great way of getting some extra money back now the reason I didn't use it for this was the fact that I realized that the Banana Republic credit card already does something similar and I think um, I, I did the math and it came out to be the same price tag more or less therefore I just elected to go with the Banana Republic one because there's no minimum threshold that you had to meet to uh, take out the, the cash that you redeem um, even though you can only use it for its subsidiary stores um, but again it's a good way of triple dipping and getting more points you, I probably wouldn't have gotten a lot, but I would have gotten, again, 5% back, which would have amounted to a $1.82 um, in uh, cash back into my bank account. So there you go. Um, the final thing that I could have, that I tried doing, um, but didn't work was Honey. So Honey is a free Chrome extension, and all you do after you uh, download it is you push the Honey button and once you push it it will run through the system and um, it will basically find out um, the best coupon to get the lowest price for whatever's in your shopping cart um, now I try to use honey um, this case but um, none of the deals actually were better uh, shop tagger already had found the best coupon deal for me this isn't always the case, so therefore it's useful to um, use Honey. Honey has a more comprehensive automatic system that will go through all the coupon codes and find the lowest price for you automatically. So it's a great deal. As you can see here, it's rated 4.8 out of 5 stars with 80,188 votes. Plus the fact that it's completely free makes it a no-brainer. Um, that's just an extra way of um, lowering the price even further now I'm sure there's one or two final shop hacking tips that I didn't do that could have maybe lowered the price even further maybe not maybe I've covered everything now is the lowest I could possibly get it to but maybe there was a better way if you know of any let me know in the comments below but that's essentially how I got a dollar forty a hundred dollar forty eight 
bomber jacket and that was perfectly my fit exactly what I wanted for the final price of six dollars and seventy nine cents now to address most of your concerns you might be saying oh well this isn't actually um, valid because I don't have a gift card and I don't have that extra five dollars and uh, but the point is you can still use a lot of the other things the shop tagger stuff um, and yes anyone spends money on necessities on a daily monthly yearly basis whether it's food laundry or whatever so if you have a decent card especially a top recommended tre uh, credit card like the discover it card which is a great beginner card you can in a very short amount of time rack up these points naturally anyways that's why I just get so confused when people spend and pay most of their stuff in cash if you're in a third world or second world country it makes sense but if you're in a first world country like the US you should you be using credit cards because of the cash back and and all the points that you can redeem just by spending how you normally would and by doing that that's how you can get whatever piece of clothing you want for less um, now again you still will have to make some sacrifices I did have to wait until the end of winter to buy this jacket nonetheless it's still fairly cold outside and I'll still be able to use it uh, for a decent while and for many years to come so yes I st won't be able to use it in for because the summer and springs coming up but you may have to make some sacrifices you may have to be slightly patient thanks for watching hope this helped and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know in the comments if there are any other shop hacks that I missed. And I will see you later. Hit that subscribe button.